Nvidia wowed us with its powerful GTX 1080 video card, but it's the mid-range GTX 1070 that many gamers will actually be able to afford. It's the second card based on NVIDIA's 16 nanometer Pascal architecture. It packs in 8GB of GDDR5 RAM and a clock speed between 1.5 and 1.7GHz. I tested the $449 Founders Edition of the card, but other versions will start at around $379. The Founders Edition looks almost exactly like the 1080 version, with the same elaborate metallic heatsink design which pushes hot air out of the back of your case. On the back, there are three DisplayPort connectors, one HDMI port, and one DVI port. Performance-wise, it sits between the GTX 1080 and AMD's $200 RX480 video card, which makes a lot of sense. It'll guarantee you at least 30 frames per second in 4K with most games. In The Witcher 3 and Hitman, it reached around 40 frames per second. It even got close to 50 in Doom. That's playable, but it's not as smooth as its 1440p performance, where it gets around 60 frames per second or more on Ultra. That's my preferred gaming resolution, and the 1070 never left me wanting. It also delivered great VR performance, with no noticeable slowdown or tearing in titles like Eve Valkyrie. Mostly, the GTX 1070 is attractive because it delivers almost the same amount of performance as the 599 1080 for significantly less. Thanks to its effective cooling, you'll also be able to overclock it for even more performance, if that's your thing. It can tackle today's games easily, and it should be enough for the next few years as well. You can also throw in another 1070 card in a few years for combined performance that surpasses the 1080. Sure, it's not exactly cheap, but for what you get, it's a great value. It's even faster than Nvidia's cards from last year that cost upwards of $600. Budget-minded gamers will probably prefer AMD's $200 RX480, but the GTX 1070 proves once again that Nvidia can deliver a solid upgrade for gamers who don't mind spending a bit of cash. 